Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And uh, right now, we have a very special treat for you. We're going to be doing something that I like doing every season. Well, not every season, but every cycle, every card cycle. I review and tell you about and purchase the Mastery Pass. I'm also going to be going over some other topics that I get asked a lot, and I want to address them right now. People ask me, Jay, how do I get cards? What's the best way to get cards? What's the most efficient way to get cards? I need packs. I need cards. Well, we're going to get to all that. Um, we're going to get to all that. We're going to get to the Mastery Pass purchase, a big pack opening, and we're going to get to the best way, the number one way to get packs in Magic Arena. Okay? So first, we're going to get to the Mastery Pass. This is what I want to address first. I got to where my break-even point this season. Now, Wizards uh, and Arena changes it around every season. What you get, where it's worth it, where it's not worth it. This season, by my calculation, the guaranteed... Now, this is my personal opinion. Um, <clears throat> what I think the absolute break-even point this season for the Mastery Pass is, is level 44. Okay? Level 44... You want to, you'll at least break even spending 3,400 uh, 3, gems on it. Uh, the reason being is if we go to the store, we want to buy gems, right? That's $20. $20 worth of gems will get you uh, 15 packs, okay? If we go to the Mastery Pass, uh, what we'll get from Tier 44 is 200 gems. 2,500 gold, which is approximately two packs, four mythic rares, um, and a grand total of 13 various packs. Uh, three Keldheim, if we take a look here, we can take a look at what they're going to give us. Uh, three Keldheim, two Zendikar, two Ikoria, two M21, three Theros, one Eldraine. Uh, we're also going to get other things like a full playset of Valkyrie Harbringer and a full playset of Certland Harbringer. Uh, we'll also get a draft token, which is also very valuable. We get pets and other various cosmetics as well, but it's hard to prescribe a set value on them. I, I look at the value. Cosmetics aren't worth anything in gameplay, so I look at the value as pure cards, packs, um, tokens, act something that has a substantial gameplay that will add additional gameplay value to your um, to your decks, to your playing, to your time spent building. Uh, you're also going to get four Mythic Rares at 44. Uh, random Mythic Rares, but Mythic Rares nonetheless. They might be something good, they might be something you don't need, but they're going to be there. So, um, what does that mean altogether? Well, by my calculations, this is an estimate, of course. Um, you'll be able to get uh, to level 44 in the Mastery Pass using XP if you get your five daily, uh, if you get your five wins a day, um, and you get your weekly wins, your experience weekly wins, um, you need about uh, 44,000 experience points, give or take uh, about 8,125 a week that you're going to get an experience. It's going to take you roughly five and a half weeks, give or take, maybe six, maybe five, if you're going very fast and getting extra XP every day uh, to get there. So if you don't have five weeks to grind pretty much every day and get your five wins a day um, and your weekly experience points, I would say the Mastery Pass isn't worth it. If you've already gotten to 44 or 45, uh, 45, you'll also get a full play set of Cleaving Reaper, which is nice. Uh, you can go ahead and not worry about getting it um, that you're not going to get your money's worth. You will get your money's worth. Um, so if you're really concerned, you're on the fence, you're a new guy, I don't know, is it worth it, is it not worth it? A lot of people ask me, get to 44. This is what I do. Every season I make sure that I can get to 44 or 45, uh, where the break-even point is, and then I purchase it. Okay? Um, so that's my estimation. Okay? That's what I tell you is your break-even boards. Anything beyond that is a bonus. So all the other stuff you're going to get beyond that is beyond the value of what you spent of uh, 3,400 gems, as opposed to just buying packs, um, period. Okay? Uh, 
All right, so we're gonna buy it. Um, and then we're gonna get open packs, and then I'm gonna tell you also the best way to, well, I think I'll tell you after that. We're gonna buy it first, okay? I'm gonna unlock it. We're gonna get all this stuff here, and it's gonna all load up in here. Confirm purchase. Boof, 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 boof. Okay, more stuff. Let's see what we got. Uh, no, I don't want to apply now. More. There's our packs. More. There's our packs. More. Okay, more. All right, well, let's see what we got, Rares. Ooh, a Valkyrie Harbringer. Excellent. Uh, a Cleaving Reaper. We didn't need that, but it'll be uh, go to our things. Uh, Arun's Epiphany. Starnhelm Unleashed. Not bad. Um, not bad overall. Let's see more. Uh, cosmetics. Okay. Very nice. Those are set. Uh, those are random. That's pretty good. And 14 orbs. Um, very nice. So, um, while I'm doing this, while I'm placing my orbs, let me tell you about the best way to get packs in Arena. The main way uh, that I get packs in Arena. You want to know the secret? I'm going to put it up on the screen for you. I'm going to tell you what the secret is. Grind, guys. I know people don't want to hear it. Everybody says, what's the secret? It's grind, ladies and gentlemen. What do I mean by grind? Um, what do I mean by grind is this. If you win five a day, your five uh, best gold wins a day, five wins a day, um, you will get 550 gold a day. Your challenge average between 750 and 500 is 650 a day. That's approximately 1,125 gold daily, okay? Uh, so what does that mean? That means that you'll get approximately 8,825 gold a week. Or 8 to 9 go uh, packs a week just from gold alone. Don't spend gold on cosmetics. If you want packs, don't spend gold on cosmetics. I know that some of the cards are shiny. I know that some of the backs are cool. The sleeves are cool or whatever. It's not worth it. If you're just trying to grind for cards and for packs, that's what you need to do okay because what that means in that the time the approximate six weeks that you've been grinding up xp to get the mastery pass to 44 um what you'll have done is gotten to the point where after that six weeks you will have 48 or more packs for six weeks of grind now that is very good okay so you're going to get more packs from grinding up to level 44 in the um, in the mastery pass that you'll actually get from buying, spending the gems and the money on mastery pass. What buying packs does for you is it saves you time. If you don't want to grind, if you don't want to go up, um, you just basically don't want to do the uh, the, pur the purchasing and the everyday fighting and the, and the building decks every day and going through the challenges. Basically, you can buy your way around that. If you don't have the money, the best way, I'm going to say it again, is grind. You will not realize how many packs you can get. Plus, give or take discounted packs when they come in. Um, plus, all the other things that you can potentially get. Um, you just don't realize uh, how much that'll do for you. So, again, there's no secret in it, guys. There's no secret way. There's no secret trick. Um, it's the main way that I get packs. I usually don't spend very much money on this game aside from Mastery Pass. Um, and then occasionally I'll buy stuff when the new thing uh, comes out. I don't pour $10, $20, $30 into this game every week. I don't do it. Um, uh, it's not, To me, it's not really worth it. Packs, packs, packs. Packs will make you better. Packs will fill up your cachet that you can get more wilds with packs 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 so people don't realize people don't ever sit there and do the math about what will get me to that level where i have a ton of packs where i'm opening lots and lots and lots of packs all at once um that's what it is guys it's grinding it's getting on getting your five wins every day you don't have to play in the queue uh you don't have to pay play in the in the ranked if you don't want you can just play in regular but that's the trick guys Get your, um, get your dailies in, get your wins in, pick up things when they're on sale. Um, just be at it every day. You will grow your, you will grow your, uh, your collection slowly, 
and you will grow it surely just by playing the game. You will get better at the game. You'll start winning more. I know it's frustrating early on, but stick with it. Um, that's the best advice I can give new people. I wouldn't dump $100 or $50 into the game right away. The Mastery Pass um, is a good value if you get to that level. Additionally, the $5 beginner bundle is very nice. Don't use stuff on cosmetics, like I've said, um, if you're starting out. And um, I don't mind the Wanderer when you get the Adventurer, the hooded guy with the backs and the extra gems. That's not a bad deal either. Um, but either way, um, get your seasonal every season. Make sure you play at least one ranked game, even if you hate the ranked uh, queue, because if you play at least one, you'll get at least a little bit of gold and one extra pack. But time is the best way to get packs. By putting the time in every day, buying the gold, like I said, by the time you're ready to get your value out of the Mastery Pass, you'll have gotten 48 packs. And that's plenty. That's $50 worth of value. So, having said all that, let's get to the big card opening. We're going to start, we're going to finish with Kaldheim. I think I want him in this order, though. I think I want him in order that they came out. So let's start ripping into these guys and getting some wilds out of them. How's that sound? Oh, thank you. I, I take that as a good sign. You live for cosmetics, Tanuki? Uh, I like sleeves. I mean, sleeves, I'll use gems on sleeves um, if they're on sale. Um, under World Breach. But uh, I won't, um, I don't really get distracted by individual cosmetic cards very often. That's best nightmare. Kiora Best of Sea God, Mythic Rare. Okay. Cosmetics are fine if you're happy with your collection and you have plenty of wilds. Um, cosmetics are fine, but I'm talking to the guys that ask me all the time, uh, Jay, how do I get packs? What's the best packs that I should get? What should I do? Should I buy it? What's the best value? Grind, guys. I'm sorry. I wish there was a shortcut. Money is the shortcut, but the best way, grind. It's $50 worth of value for six weeks. Mythos of the Luna. I haven't really used these mythos. I should play with them a little up another Aquaria. Titan's Nest. I've never used that one either. That's a Sultai. Right. Probably going to end up opening my cash after this. Core. Uh, Conclave Mentor. Rada, Card of Kel. Okay. Very useful in our, in our land deck last night. Alright. Up there's another one. Chandra's Incinerator, very nice. Okay, here comes the Zendikar. Karga Intimidator, very good card. Uh, I think I might have a full play set in there. Okay. Soul Shatter, another good card. Another good sacrifice card. Very useful in the sacrifice shell that we've built lately. Alright, here's on to Keldheim. Forging Tyrite Sword, there's another man. Blessing of the Frost, I use that one. Let's see if we can get some pathways, guys. I got really, really screwed on pathways. Uh, <clears throat> Mystic Reflection, very good. Uh, very good one. I've seen a lot of jank you can get off with Mythic Reflection. Frigia, I know I already have a place at her. Glorious Protector, very nice. Um, more angels. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little rough right now. Uh, Spirit of Aldergaard, okay, yeah. Waking the Trolls. Okay, all right. Spirit of Aldergaard. I gotta start playing with him. I, I, I gotta make a spirit deck coming up. I know that's on my to-do list, guys. Uh, Imistrum Cairn, Skull Cairn. Very nice. Mythic Reflection. Mystic Reflection. I apologize. Um, that's another good one. I'm building up those wilds, guys. That's the main goal here. I live for a while. Binding the Old Gods. Fantastic card. Toski. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. We'll we'll throw him. We'll find a place for him. What do we got here? Oh, I think that's a Mythic Rare, isn't it? Oh, Rays of the Dead Marn. I've been raising for those. I've been waiting for those. Um, I think I'm going to use this in a new zombie deck. All right. Let's see here. We're almost at another wild. The Bears of Lithjara. Okay, that's a Simic thing, so I'm never going to use it. Clarion Spirit, I might get a little work out of. Still no Pathways, guys. Still no pathways. Haunting Voyage, a second one, very nice. Um, 
a mythic rare card. Alright, so wow, we're having more mythic wilds than we do regular. And of course, we're going to finish it off with a pathway in search of greatness. Don't really need that. Okay, uh, so we grabbed some decent stuff. We refreshed our wilds a little bit. Um, we refreshed our wilds a little bit, so we're doing all right. Um, we are back down to um, gold four and bronze four. So we do have a token here to uh, brew with. We are going to keep going. We're going to grind up this season. We're going to do lots of fun stuff, and we're going to be getting all the stuff from um, the Mythic Pass, too. So plenty of stuff to do, plenty of stuff to see this season. Um, we're going to get on it. I hope this video was informative to you. Uh, please leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comments. Um, if you have any more questions or you want to point something out, uh, please let me know. And of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or the like and subscribe will come after you. Um, that was it for me, guys. That was a quick video just to let you know what I was doing and to open those packs and buy the Mastery Pass and give my opinion on the best way to buy cards in the current, uh, to get packs and cards uh, in the current build of the game. So, saying all that, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time.